guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. So this Saturday, this Saturday, it is not Saturday, it is Sunday. <laughs> This Sunday it is 9.30 in the morning and I'm here at Aldi. I haven't been to Aldi for a few weeks and I always miss it when I don't go because there's just so much great stuff there that I can get for so much cheaper. I will probably have to go to Hy-Vee after this because one of the recipes that I'm cooking today is for a slow cooker, um, like the Mexican pork, and it calls for dried chilies. Now, they might have dried chilies here. I'm not sure. If I... I'm thinking they might, but I, I'm not for sure. And so if they don't have those, I'll have to go to Hy-Vee. Uh, but either way, I will show you when I get home what I got and what the meal plan is for this week. All right, so here's a look at everything I got from um, Aldi. And then I just picked up a few things from Walmart. So I spent $123 at Aldi and $10 at Walmart. So 133 total, which I thought was pretty good. I did get some cherries. I always like to get these when they are fresh and in season. We all love them. Adam especially loves them. So I'll wash those up and we can have them for snacks and put them in lunches. I got some lemons, some limes. That's my favorite place to get. Lemons and limes is at Aldi. They're really good quality and they are cheaper there. I grabbed some red grapes, some gala apples. We're totally out of apples and we like to cut those up and eat them with like um, peanut butter or sometimes in like a homemade lunchable. Uh, I got some red bell peppers. There's a couple recipes I need those with. Two pounds of strawberries. The kids love these. Connor says strawberries are his favorite fruit so we can go through those quick in no time. I grabbed some blueberries. Uh, for this Mexican pork that I'm going to make for supper tonight, I needed some chili peppers and they did end up having the ancho chilies at Aldi so I got those there and then I got the pasilla chilies at um, Walmart, which I'll show you here in a second. I grabbed one English cucumber, a head of cauliflower. I'm going to make mashed cauliflower as a side with dinner tomorrow. Um, two zucchinis for zoodles. Two mangoes for a mango salsa. Um, some garlic to have on hand for recipes. And avocado for the um, crock pot pork tacos that I'm making for tonight. Uh, there's also a recipe that called for prosciutto. I actually really like to get that at Aldi because it's good quality and it's cheap there. I think this was only like $3.29 or something like that. If you go to Hy-Vee and get this, it's going to be like $6 probably. So they have the best price there. I am also going to be making some salmon with, ma with the mango salsa. And so I just grabbed a small portion of that. Some eggs uh, for the crock pot pork tacos. I grabbed a boneless... Um, pork roast, this is almost four pounds uh, for $8.43, so that's a pretty good price for that. I need to get that in the crock pot soon, probably, um, if we're going to eat that for supper tonight. Okay, uh, I didn't grab too much cheese, just one block of pepper jack. I like to cut this up and have it with Triscuits for a snack. I also got some white cheddar. I thought I would cut that up and do like some snack packs with the grapes. So grapes and white cheddar are really good together, and the kids like that too. Um, I got some turkey pepperoni. We like to have this on hand for snacks. Kira also likes to make turkey and pepperoni sandwiches for her lunches, so um, that's what we use that for. And then if we make like a quick pizza or anything like that. Um, this turkey breast, I get it from Aldi quite a bit and it's really good. It's just their specially selected oven roasted turkey breast. And then um, for tacos tonight and quesadillas and whatever else, I just got some of the Mexican style cheese. Uh, I got Parmesan cheese for a recipe, some milk, which we've already used part of because Connor's eating cereal, and also some um, apple peach um, applesauce. The kids take these in their lunch. Uh, I got some corn tortillas from Aldi. We will not obviously use all these for dinner tonight. There's 30 in there, but corn tortillas freeze really well, and I freeze them often. And then if I want to make enchiladas or do like any kind of meal prep that includes corn tortillas, I can just take them out of the freezer and thaw them out and they work great. I got some Aldi Triscuits. These are actually pretty, pretty decent. I love Triscuits. <laughs> um, I'm probably the only one in the house that likes them, but for a good generic substitute, the Aldi brand is pretty good. And then my Aldi has started carrying the Parmesan crisps and these are good on salads or on top of soups or even just for a snack. So I grabbed a bag of those to try. Uh, I got some saltine crackers for soup. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, so I was totally out of white vinegar. You guys know that I use this to wash my produce and then sometimes recipes call for it, so I grabbed one of those. There's a couple recipes that I'm gonna cook this week that needed white wine, so I just got this bottle of Chardonnay from Aldi. It was like $8, I think. Uh, a can of Rotel for a recipe, or whatever the generic version of that is. A couple different cans of soup for Adam. He likes to take those to work sometimes with a salad. So I got the chicken and wild rice and the grilled chicken and sausage gumbo. Uh, I got diced tomatoes for a recipe, um, chipotle peppers in adobo. Okay, so I made a video. What was it? I can't remember now. Chipotle. I think I say chipotle, and I think that's wrong. I think it's chipotle, so I'll try. I'll try to say it right. Chipotle peppers. Tell me if I'm saying it right. <laughs> Okay, I got a bunch of comments on that. Uh, okay, I got some peanut butter cup ice cream. I'm pretty sure this is like the Halo Top. I'm not like necessarily a huge ice cream fan, but I thought I would give this a try. I've had some flavors of Halo Top before. Some are really good, some are not in my opinion. My favorite flavor of Halo Top is the lemon, but anyway, I thought I would give that a try. Uh, this is sesame oil, and I was happy to find this at Aldi. Uh, this will be for a stir-fry recipe. I'm almost out of it. I keep, I keep my sesame oil in the fridge because that's what I was always told to keep it from going rancid. Let me know if you do the same. Uh, I grabbed a six-pack of the unsweetened tea. This is for Adam. He likes to take this to work and have it in his office fridge to drink there. I got some cherry. Uh, fruit and grain bars. These are like the Nutri-Grain bars and um, the kids like those for breakfast once in a while. And then they had a couple different specialty chips. So they had these horseradish cheddar and then they also had a buffalo blue cheese, which I really thought we could try the buffalo, but Adam hates blue cheese. <laughs> I like it, but he hates it. And so I was like, Ugh, I'm not going to buy a whole bag of chips that, you know, I'm the only person that's going to eat it. So um, I just ended up getting these horseradish cheddars. So hopefully those are good. And then I really like all these paper towels. Um, we're out, almost out of paper towels right now, and so I just went ahead and got the six pack. I think these are really good quality. They're select a size. Personally, I can't tell the difference too much between these and Bounty, and they're a lot cheaper. Uh, okay, and then also at Aldi, I got a huge pack of LaCroix. I've been liking to drink that over ice with a squeeze of lime, especially in the summer. I think it's super refreshing. And then we needed um, some garbage bags for the garage, so Aldi had these, so I just went ahead and got them there. And then these are the only things that I got from Walmart, so I had forgotten to get bananas, so I grabbed some of those. Uh, for a stir fry recipe, I needed water chestnuts. Um, I only need one can, but I figured I would just get a couple. Wow, just wow, wow. Wow, just wow. <laughs> uh, so I figured I would get two cans just to have one in the pantry. I got some ginger. I was gonna get just regular, like, ginger root and grate it myself, but I had quite a few recipes that needed it this week, and so I figured, eh, I'll just get the squeeze tube and that'll be more convenient. Uh, okay, I got some pasilla chilies. They had a huge display of all kinds of like chilies and spices um, at Walmart, which at my, wa at my Walmart anyway is new. And so I took advantage of that. I got some Mexican oregano. This was really cheap, like around 60 cents. And then also obviously the pasilla chilies. So um, let me grab my meal planner and I will show you what I'm going to make this week. So my plan this week is to do some pretty heavy cooking like at the beginning of the week and then the rest of the week we can have leftovers or sandwiches or just eat whatever out of the refrigerator. So I was going to make eggs benedict for breakfast this morning but I was too lazy and so I just ended up making biscuits and some bacon and eggs. Um, for lunch today I am planning on trying this low cal fettuccine alfredo recipe from foodnetwork.com and um, we're going to use that for uh, lunch with zoodles and I have some shrimp in the freezer so hopefully that's good I can link this recipe down below and then um, for dinner I'm making these slow cooker pork tacos uh, this will be in a separate recipe video that I'm collaborating with Mandy uh, from Mandy in the making on so you'll see that you probably have already seen that by the time you've seen this video um, but this is what I needed all the chilies for and stuff and then with that uh, I'm going to just cut up like, you know, fixings for tacos and uh, maybe like chips and salsa. On Monday, tomorrow, I am making this Giada di Laurentiis recipe for Roman style chicken. It's like a chicken um, sauteed with prosciutto. There's peppers in there. 
um, garlic, diced tomatoes, white wine, and capers. I thought it sounded really good, and we're going to have that with mashed cauliflower. Um, on Tuesday, I have Home Chef coming, so that's going to be bruschetta chicken, green beans, and potatoes. And then, like I said, the rest of the week, we'll just eat leftovers. So um, I'm also going to meal prep today this chicken and broccoli stir fry. This is also a Food Network recipe. I can link that down below. And oh, and then the salmon with the mango salsa is going to be a, another meal prep that I'm going to make today. All right, so that is it for today's grocery haul and meal plan. I was glad to get back to Aldi. I always like going back there, and I just feel like they're getting so many more items. Um, the list of things that I have to go somewhere else to get is getting smaller and smaller, so that's good. When I go to Aldi, I definitely save money, and it's, it's definitely one of my favorite grocery stores. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.